What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this. T, are we actually recording? We are. Uh, let's get into T room. <sighs> okay, I'm tipsy at this point. Let's get into T room. <laughs> Queen Naja robbed in Atlanta. Huh? CJ So Cool calls royalties kids evil. Oh, so food get... critic Keith Lee has been the topic of discussion for the past few days. Now at the BET Awards, Taraji accidentally mixed him up with someone else because he was sitting in the wrong seat. Now he did appear to be upset at the whole interaction and later on cameras caught him leaving the event where someone called him DDG and he got even more irate. G bro, DDG bro, DDG bro, DDG bro, DDG bro, DDG. Now Queen was very upset. That would have pissed me off. That after she ordered food and the Uber Eats driver took her salmon. No, that kid is not gonna pick up. He stole your whole salmon. <laughs> I'm about to report him. Clarence would have pissed me off more than anybody else. Oh no, the rest of this is CJ. Oh my god. I'm about to report him. <laughs> so you see a Uber connecting you to Jamar, okay? Call from Uber to connect you with a third party. Uber will not ask for any confidential or private information, and you should be careful when sharing information with a third party. Press one to connect the call to the other person. Hot. Thirty. I'm so very confused. If he didn't answer, he stole it. This nigga's an asshole because he know Buddy not picking up the phone. Not you. No, me. Not you. This nigga done stole my family, bro. <laughs> so I ain't gonna lie. I don't know what made him say, I'm gonna just take the salmon. He was better off just... or. Uh, <sighs> Dropping it off, just the bowl with nothing in it. Get away. Now, CJ has been doing these Q&As on his Snapchat. Now, he recently answered a question about Funny Mike and how the whole beef started, and how he really feels about Funny Mike, as well as some other questions about royalty and the kids. Would you ever drop with Funny Mike? All right, we already reacted to this part, and we got the Funny Mike part. Uh-huh. 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 Okay. It's a get back with royalty. Why is people making it seem like royalty got this magic touch or something, bro? I don't know what it is about her that make y'all think that she gonna just change the world. Bro, look at her now and realize that that's the real her. When she was with me, I changed her energy. I changed her perspective on life. I changed her frequency. We both lived good. But the real her is not going to change anything. It's not going to make the world a better place. It's not going to make me and my family a better place. I'm not going down that road, bro. Please understand that there is two positives in this world. The first positive is when I left him. The second positive is right now. I'm going through the process of making myself a better person now that I've separated myself from them. All right? They are freaking evil, bro. I don't know why you can't see this, but they are freaking evil. And I would never in my life go back. I already did it. The First time I was in Miami, they went live, packed up the house, and moved out. And literally broke up with me just because I was in Miami with Bam Man Kevin on the yacht. Trying to network. I came back home. They came back. Then we broke up again. We not doing this again, bro. Because when I went back to them the first time, it was all hell to pay. All I was doing was trying to buy their love. The first time was fake. Hey, here's a new chain for you. Here's a, a private jet for y'all. Here's some designer shopping spree. Here's a new car. I'm not doing that, bro. I'm not getting used anymore. I'm not being abused anymore. You're not getting used if you're offering it. Or I'm not letting someone look me in my face every morning and talk me down, telling me that I wouldn't be anything without them. All right? Because technically, I wouldn't be anything without myself. Because if I give up on myself, then I'm nothing. But no one else can help me in that way. You know what I'm saying? She didn't make me better. She made me worse. And now y'all get to see the worst of me because we got to keep clashing and arguing online. But that's not really the real me. The real me is I'm cool on it, baby. You ain't ever heard the meme. I'm see this so cool on it. That's really me. How do you feel about all the things Charlene and her kids be saying about you? Honestly, I really don't care because you guys don't know to have. They used to talk crap every day anyway. 444 in the chat. They used to be like, if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't have. So I was typically just fed up like anybody would have been. So I ended it. And now if they're saying the same similar stuff, it really doesn't affect me because now 
Gardy move. No, I did the big boy move. All right. You know how hard it is to say I created this family and this business we have together and I'm going to leave. You know how hard that is. Most people would have just stayed no matter how miserable they were. But me, I decided it was time to end it, man. So I left and nothing they say can harm me. No word will ever harm me. OK, besides, I don't look at what they do anyway. I don't I haven't seen anything. I don't look at blog posts. I don't look at blog posts. I don't look at T-drama pages. I don't look at their pages. We have no reason looking at each other. If y'all wasn't asking me this, I wouldn't even be on this vibration right now. I'd be on a whole other frequency. But this is what y'all want, so this is what y'all get. See, I like this one right here. They made sure they said, do you miss the other side? Not to be messy. Even though they're trying to be messy. I know what y'all doing. Y'all trying to clip me, screenshot me, send it to them, say, oh, he missy out. No, I do out. Okay? I don't miss anything, bro. That's the worst thing you could do. Crown over spoiled milk is not going to help anybody at the end of the day. Um, we had great memories. We made a lot of money together. We got the video still up on YouTube. If you want to see how we used to be, then just go watch the old videos. But uh, it's over, man. It's really over. It's been over two years. Yeah, I'm so tired of this royalty and CJ drama. Like, I just, I, I, I wish they would let it go. Yeah, he always say nothing is his fault. He's so full of shit in that. This ain't no going back. She didn't done things that I never, ever, ever do or take her back for or anybody. Like, if, let's just say it's not Charlene we're talking about in her kids. Let's just say I was dating a girl named Alexis and Alexis did what they did to me. I'm not taking her back. I'm sorry. You untrustworthy. And if I wouldn't be back with her, I would always be looking mm. over my shoulder like, OK, I know I'm going to get scammed or ambushed or backdoored. Bro, you just can't trust everybody. And I'm going to tell you all the truth. She, she's born in New Mexico, but she grew up in the hood in Las Vegas because they never really had anything. They didn't have money. It was just like me. I grew up in the hood in Gary because my parents ain't had nothing. She grew up in the hood in Las Vegas because her parents ain't had nothing. When you kind of, when you grow up in the hood, you got different outlook on life. Some people that grew up in the hood, they have a good heart. You know, they was probably raised by grandma, <laughs> me. And some people that grew up in the hood... They don't have a heart, bro. They literally will do anything and everything to make sure that they keep winning. And technically, that's what she's trying to do. With me, she was a winner. Without me, she saw she was losing. So what she trying to do? Attack my character to bring me down I so that she could consider herself to be a winner. It's crazy, but uh, I know I'm right. He always right, ain't he? Uh, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. You know, CJ... He never can do anything wrong, and he's right all the time. And um, he's an angel in his eyes, and yeah, it's kind of it. Uh, I'm done with this video. Y'all make sure y'all tap into all my channels, and that's all I got. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, y'all.